Hello, I'm Scott Miller, a pastor at the Wilmington United Methodist Church. In this ongoing Advent season, I'd like to take a moment to discuss the theme of joy with you. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, we read, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in every situation, because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We live in a world characterized by constant motion and disruption, where we're instantaneously connected to events unfolding in our local communities, nation, and the broader global landscape. In this era of unceasing technological advancements and high-speed information flow, finding a moment to disengage from the restless stream of information can feel nearly impossible. Yet as we venture into the third week of Advent, we're reminded of the call to rejoice, pray, and give thanks continuously. Rejoice always. These two simple words convey profound meaning. There are moments when we gaze at our surroundings and ponder, what reasons do we have to rejoice? Just recently, I was in North Katanga in the country of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. On one of our trips, we went to a small village. We were nearly a quarter of a mile away and we heard singing and saw so many people who were taking up the road in front of us. They were there to greet us. There was so much joy and celebration about us coming to their village to worship with them. This village wasn't much by our standards, but there was so much joy and excitement, we found ourselves smiling, laughing, greeting people for the first time, and even a little bit of dancing as we made the trip into the village. It was something I've never experienced before and never will again. What I learned from this experience is that when we flow into a time of joy, we change our perspective. We begin to recognize the presence of God among us. Rejoicing is truly an act of faith. It is a time of recognizing God's love, embracing us in a unique and powerful way. Pray continually. This is our avenue for communicating with God. We recognize the vital role of communication in our lives. When our communication falters, we often find ourselves in difficult situations. Through prayer, we maintain a direct line of communication with God, remaining tuned into God's presence in our lives. In these moments, we come to understand that we are engaged in an ongoing two-way conversation with the Creator of all things. Give thanks in every situation. It's effortless to express gratitude when life is sailing smoothly. But what about when circumstances become complex? Offering thanks, regardless of the situation, serves as a testament to our unwavering trust in God. This act is our direct response to the constant negativity that often surrounds us during challenging times. By giving thanks, even in adversity, we come to realize through God we possess a hope that tr transcends quick fixes and temporary solutions we begin living into a true transformation of our lives. Rejoice always, recognizing that joy can be discovered in every moment. Pray continually, maintaining a constant connection with God in all circumstances. Give thanks in every situation, placing our trust in God's unfolding plan, even when it eludes our sight. As we embrace these principles, our lives align with God's will in Christ Jesus. We uncover the peace, purpose, and strength that God has promised to provide. May this Advent season bring you an abundance of joy, peace, and a heart overflowing with gratitude.